So recalling that when dealing with ratios, the values being compared always had the same units, making the units therefore somewhat irrelevant. They always cancel out. Now, when dealing with rates, the values have different units, and therefore they're relevant. Let's go back to our situation with Cheryl and Jerry, but in this case, we have some times involved. If Cheryl ran four kilometers in two hours, we could discuss the fraction four kilometers over two hours, and we see that these values have different units. Therefore, this is not a ratio. We would call it a rate. At what rate are they running? Well, we can look at the units. The rate here has units of kilometers per hour, just like the speedometer in your car. Let's compare the running rate, or the speed, of Cheryl as compared to Jerry. For Cheryl, the rate would be 4 kilometers over 2 hours. Well, for Jerry, his rate would be 3 kilometers over 1 hour. Let's reduce Cheryl's rate to make the comparison easier. Dividing the top and bottom by 2, 2 kilometers over 1 hour. And we see that Jerry was therefore running faster on average, as he was 3 kilometers for every 1 hour. Now, comparisons aren't always quite so easy to do, that is, just reducing them down like that. For example, if Jacob, a third runner, ran 5 kilometers in 2 hours, his rate is 5 over 2 kilometers per hour. To compare, we could just divide the two numbers. 5 divided by 2 is, you can use a calculator if you need to, 2.5 kilometers per hour. Jacob has a smaller rate than Jerry. He's not going as quickly. Dividing like this to get a unit rate is a great trick for comparing rates. Just always remember to keep the units when you do the division.